Hello friends, this video on morphology of flowering plants part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay, so now let us look at the modifications of root. So, so far we saw what is root, what are the different types of root, what are the different parts of a root. Now we will see what are the different modifications of a root. So what, what are we going to talk about in this topic is in different plants, roots get modified into different structures to form different type of functions. So it is not only the basic primary functions which roots perform like providing anchorage or providing water and minerals or food storage. There are a couple of other functions as well which roots perform in different plants. But maybe not in all plants but in some plants they perform some specialized functions. And in order to perform those functions they modify their structure in some way or the other. So here under this topic we are going to talk about the various modifications of root which we see in different plants. So modification of some roots to perform specialized functions other than water and mineral absorption. So this is considered absorption of water and mineral is considered to be one of the very basic function of a root. So some of these functions are food storage, respiration, support. Now these are some of the functions. Now support doesn't mean that anchorage or fixing the plant to the soil. That is again a basic function of the root. It is some other kind of support which we are talking about. Providing some mechanical support to the entire plant. We will see that when we will talk about each of them in detail. So these are some of the other functions which roots perform. Now we will see how do they modify themselves to uh, cater to these functions. So let us first talk about food storage. How roots help in storing food. So let us look at how the tap roots get modified to store food. Now tap roots of many plants are swollen to store food. Now whenever you want to store something, so you need space to store that, right? So to create that space, some of the roots swell up. So they, are, they look very swollen and they actually help in storing food. And this swollen root take different shapes in different types of plants. So some of the examples of tap roots which become swollen to store food are conical, fusiform and napiform. So these are three modifications of tap roots to store food. Now in all of these the tap roots get swollen to store food but they have different shapes. So let us look at the conical ones. So they have shape like a cone. Example is carrot. So if you look at the shape of carrot, you see it is in the shape of a cone, somewhat like this. So it has a broad base and tapered towards the apex. So if you look at this carrot, you will actually have a broad base and then it will gradually taper towards the apex. So this is the base. And this is the apex. So here it gradually becomes taper. Right? So this is an example of conical root. So we have a broad base and taper apex. Third, second is fusiform. For the word fusiform, it is a Latin word. Fusus means spindle. What is spindle? It is nothing but the rotational axis of a machine or a screw. So that is few. So from there comes the word few, fusy. So fusy form that is in the form of a spindle. So the shape is in the form of a spindle. Example would be radish. It is swollen in the middle and it taper both sides. So that means the shape would be somewhat like this. So here it is tapered. So one side it is tapered, again the other side also it is tapered, but at the middle it is swollen. So a shape of this form. So this is fusiform. So swollen middle and tapering both ends. Third one is napiform. So this is again a Latin word. The word napi means turning. So napus. The word napus in Latin means turnip. So the shape of a turnip, how does a turnip look like? Somewhat like this, it is like almost a spherical top and a tapered bottom. So the bottom is very 
thin, but the top is almost like a sphere. So that shape is given the name of nappy form. So the example is turn. So these are some of the examples of roots. So basically what we eat, the edible part of a carrot or a radish or a turnip is nothing but the root. So root stores all the food that the plant actually needs. So this type of tap and also it is a tap root. So these are all examples of tap root where you have one primary root and from there you have several branches coming out. So these are all modifications of tap root which are swollen for the purpose of food storage. Now depending upon their different shapes they are classified as conical fusiform or napiform. Now let us look at how the adventitious roots are modified to store food. Adventitious roots of many plants are also swollen to store food. Okay, so let us look at some of the examples of adventitious roots. Now let us look at the different types of adventitious roots which are modified to store food. The first one is tuberous. This is a swollen root with no definite shape. So we do not have any fixed shape. Example is sweet potato. You would have actually seen this sweet potato, right? Sometimes it is little uh, cylindrical in shape. Sometimes it looks somewhat similar to the fusiform shape. Sometimes it looks little spherical. So they do not exactly have any definite shape. Next is nodulose. The word nodulose is derived from the word nodules. So it is a slender root with swollen apex. So the apex is going to be swollen in this case. Example is turmeric. So if you look at this turmeric root, if you observe them, see this is the thin root with a swollen apex. So the apex is swollen. Right? So that is why it is called. So this swollen apex give the appearance of nodules. And that is why they are known as nodulose. So turmeric is a very good example of nodulose. Fasciculated. This is the third type of modification of adventitious roots. Cluster of tubercles at stem base. This is seen in dahlia. So here you can see it is very similar to how the tuberous roots are. They are also swollen roots, no definite shape. So these are also the same. But instead of one such root, you have bundles of root. So here you can see at the stem base, this is the stem base, from there originates many such tuberous like structures. So this kind of root is known as fasciculated and it is generally seen in plants like dahlia. So these are some of the root modifications in in fact, adventitious root modification in some plants. So here you can see that these roots do not have any specific primary root as such. So even if you look at these roots, they are like all similar roots. So they are adventitious roots. Similarly, in case of this dahlia also, you do not really have one primary uh, root from which other branches come out. So these are some of the root modifications for food storage. So we saw it for tap roots as well as for adventitious. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.